Welcome back to Championship Court as we get set for our bronze medal match between Susanna Barr and Eric Lang and Jill Braverman and Gabe Tardio. Both of these teams played great semifinals coming up just short. And this should be a very competitive bronze medal match. Yeah, this will be a good match here for bronze. As both of these teams, like you said, Dorian, played some really good pickleball in the semifinal. Barr and Lang coming off a match five minutes ago, literally. And so they're jumping right back in hot. Tardio and Braverman's match was before that. So they've been sitting a little bit. Um, but don't expect any lack of energy from both of these teams. <laughs> I thought you were going to say no. from Joe Braverman. Would, would you rather be the tough team that's coming in hot, though? Just because you're a little bit more yeah, loose? Right, a little bit, play. yes. I'd like to be Barr and, Game one, and timing. Lang here zero, as they zero, just two. finished up. I was trying to figure out what was going on, but... The DJ disappeared out of the booth and the music was still going. Chad, we know that you never know what's going on, no, so it's I don't. fine. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Inside right out forehand for Barr for the per first point of the game. Oh, she hits it and walks away from it, almost like. <laughs> One, zero, two. That's like a mic drop moment. I got it. Well, I think. Good spot. I think that's what you're going to see here. You're going to see. Some really good point construction, I think, from all four two, of these zero, players two. here. They're going to wait for the right opportunity to speed up. Football. Oh, Eric. Oh, it's Lang, able to get the paddle up. It's going to be fault. Going to be a little bit. Woo. Only line calls. Wonder how. Lang cannot. Zero, two, one. Well, you got his size 16 shoes. Just over the line, apparently, but yeah, it's going to be more old school pickleball Second as far serve. as you know, not as much aggressiveness off of the drive or or off of those speed Zero, two, ups. Two. Still going to take their chances, but it's going to be Side at the out. right time. Yeah. And like you said, going to be a little more old school grind out points two, here. Zero, one. Well, it's been quick work so far, though, for Eric Lang and Susanna Barr back on serve already. Ooh, nice hands there from Braverman on the speed up from Eric Lang. That's a good spot. Good two, count zero, of bo the body just jumped a little bit when she went to attack again. Side out. Side out. If you're Braverman and Tardio, you feel like you played well enough to advance zero, two, into one. championship Sunday, eventually falling to the qualifying duo of Patrick Kalka and Dario Walczek in that Game three is Tardio Second pulls third. it wide that went 12-10. Played well enough. They had a match point on That's their paddle. Right. Yeah. 0-2-2. Zero, two, two. Braverman Point. going into the body as she and Tardio get on the board. Perfect spot from Braverman. Yeah, in the previous attack, she went right One, two, at two. Eric Lang, and, and he's so good defensively with that counter on the backhand side. Changed the spot for that one. Point. Now Tardio into the hip of Lang, 2-2. 2-2-2. Two, two. Two, two, two. Lang stepping side across out. for the put away to earn the side out. Well, he needed to do that the point before. There was a ball up that he kind of let float across. He needs to come across, just be a little bigger, be more aggressive on those balls. Two, two, one. Oh, Smart just decision out. there from Braverman. Braverman tried to hit it, she tried to bring it back down. You know, one thing that I think that Braverman and Tadio have to be Two, two, Careful two. of is not getting too loose. Oh, side out. Couple of monster <laughs> forehands from Lang. Pretty that one sails. Oh, long. I love it. Just out though. That's why she loved it. <laughs> Listen, you two, have two, more appreciation one. for an opponent's shot when it's not their point. <laughs> Yeah, Point. that's the one where you say, you know what? That would have been amazing if it had landed in. 3-2-1. Braverman and Tardio take the lead. 3-2-1. Nice 
yes, sir. hands from Barr on the backhand. Well, and that's part of the, the looseness that I'm talking about right there, where it's, Three, two, two. it's not really committing to a speed up, going cross court with it. Well, again, Lang gets away with that, though. He jumped on that backhand block, Chad, and we saw that in the last match. We made a couple mistakes on that jumping. He's already tall enough. Doesn't need to jump and, and try and get so much on top Two, of it. Three, He's one. already on top of the ball with his height. Second serve. Service air off the paddle of Barr. Second serve coming. Here we go. Two, three, two. Oh, two, two service errors. Two service errors. Wow. Yikes. You can't. don't see that often. No, and you can't have that right now. Three, two, one. Gives the serve back over to Tardio at three, two, one. Second serve. Tardio can't make the pickup. Three, two, two. Nice step in out. from Lang. He's had some early success with that shot. Yeah, nice step in right there. Like you said, Dorian, it's a aggressive move there from Lang stepping in. He gets the tape, a little love right there. He'll take Two, three, it. One. from Barr results in an error off of the Tardio paddle. It's 3-0. That's a nice little inside out right at the body of Tardio. 3-3-1. Three, three, oh, oh, love from the net two. there for Tardio. Take it and run with it. 3-3-2. Three, three, Football. Right foot, point. Been a lot of foot faults today. And so, I, and I saw that one there. Foot slid forward four, four, three, as two. he reached, he reached in, for it. And then he, he kicked back as he made contact. Side out. Okay, yes, we are, we are seeing more, more foot faults than typically what we have. Three, four, so. one. Is that four or five today? Mm hmm. Oh, oh get backhand out. roll winner from Tardio. So and, smooth. And it almost sounded like a miss hit off his paddle, too. But Well, I, and I tell you what, that's what we, four, we four, started one. to notice more and more, right? Those, the, especially the two-hand backhand rolls, the ones that are caught right near the edge guard have the sharper break. Second serve. Lang gives him a taste of his own medicine. Left-handed overhead there from Susanna Barr. Didn't get a ton on it. Didn't need a ton on no. it. No. Four, four, two. Point. Got too big. Had too much with the shoulder. You know, when we get fully extended and the paddle heads out and we start with the shoulder, now it closes off that face Five, and we four, end up two. bringing it down. That hand, that forearm need to start the motion. Football, left foot, side out. What? Another one. Who, which one? On Jill. Oh, was it on yep. Jill? It was on Braverman. <laughs> What's contributing to all these foot faults today? I have no clue. Like, it's just, it's it's very Four, five, odd. One. We don't see a lot of foot faults at this level. Lang Point. finding some space along the sideline. Five, five, one. Five, five, one. Yeah. 
Second serve. Yeah, if Ba's going to speed that one up, she has to be ready for the counter. Take that as a one, two, five, forehand, five, two. backhand. Just a little late getting that. Point. Tardio can't come up with the return. Another point for Barr and Lang as they retake the lead at 6-5-2. 6 5 2, six, five, two. Man, that Side ball out. just didn't come up much, but yeah. also tried to really crank on it. You saw the body get very rotational. Five, six, one. Point. Lang has to do more with that floating ball there. Just tries to flick it back cross court. Needs to be a little bit more aggressive. Fire something down to the feet. 6-6-1. Six, six, Makes it 6-6-1. Six, six, Braverman like stepping step across. Yeah, I like that step over there from Braverman. It was a good drop from Tadio. Gets it down seven, below six, the one. net. He was a little off balance. Braverman reads it well. Oh, point. Tardio yeah, there and waiting. <laughs> yeah, you can't speed that up right Swat at him. Fly. He's going to get that every time. He's got to go cross court hard again with that. Stay in that point. 8 6 1. His 18 year old reflexes. Point. Braverman going into the body of Bar. Three straight points for Braverman and Tardio. No time out here. Again, this would have been Nine, six, a perfect one. time for one, if not one earlier. And point. It's a missed return off the forehand side and game point now uh, for Braverman from and Tardio. Yeah. Our receivers, 10, six, one. Lang one just minute. asked how many timeouts they had. They're going to take one right now, but potentially a little bit too late. We see it all the time as just the misuse or lack thereof using timeouts in these matches. Well, and I would say even at this point right now too, I was expecting a lot more challenges than what we've seen. Yeah, 100%. Which I was talking with Lang and Barr after that match and kind of asked why they didn't challenge that one uh, late where it was a close yeah. game. And, you know, both of them were like, well, the referee said he saw it like in doesn't matter and it's Still like and it's it. like you got to understand that you got to understand that even though the referee says service. that you still have that three. challenge Absolutely. and so there's got to be an education with this and understanding when and where and using those timeouts and those challenges at the right time and I, we all thought in the booth here that that was a perfect time, time for in. it 10 6 1 10 6 1 game point Oh, <laughs> Braverman went full Scorpion right there. Got hers, but Tardio couldn't 10, get 6, his. Still on serve, game point number two. Point Bar game, comes up six. short in the net as game one Cut goes the way of Jill Braverman and Gabe Tardio. We'll have game number two in our bronze medal match coming up next here on Championship Court at the 2024 APB Sacramento Open. This is what you're waiting for. Fulfill is a protein bar, not a candy bar. Don't let its creamy, chocolatey goodness confuse you, or the fact that you hide them from anyone with a sweet tooth. You saw nothing. I saw nothing. Fulfill. We swear it's a protein bar. 
Welcome back to Championship Court. Game two set to get underway here in our bronze medal match. Jill seconds. Braverman and Gabe Tardio taking game number one, 11 6 over the three seed Susanna Barr and Eric Lang. Yeah. Your bar and, and Lang got caught just a little bit going down the stretch of that, that first game. Braverman had some good speed ups cross court into the body of Barr. And and Braverman and Tadio started to put a little bit more pressure on than, than what they right, started it with. Game two time. So I'll look for them to zero, come zero, out and be, be a little bit more aggressive here in game two. Zero, try zero, to keep two. this momentum going. It was a five nothing run for Braverman and Tardio to end the first game. Being tied at six all. Yeah, just a tough spot right there. I know Barr wants to speed that up and go inside out, but Tardio sitting dead red, meaning he's sitting speed up right One, there zero, because two. he can adjust to a dink. Yeah. Nice speed up there from Lang. If, if Braveman's going to come over there and she's going to come all the way across the court. She has to do One. more of a swing there or get that ball down so it pops up. Ends up taking Zero, Tardio one, one. out of place and a good speed up by laying down the line. Second serve. Deep ball from Tardio. Second serve coming. Zero, one, two. Side out. Just, just out. Braverman no. calling it while it was still in the air. Yeah, not, One, not zero, as one. deep as, as what you would think from the Braverman call. Second serve. Tardia's forehand in the net. One, zero, two. Nice right cross out. court there from Lang on a pretty good drop there from Tardio, too. But he deadened that off of his drop and Zero Tardio one, one. just a little late. Second serve. Service error from Barr. That's her second of the match. Zero one two. That critical juncture midway through game number one, both Lang and Barr committed back to back service errors. The side backhand out. side couldn't come up with it. And a quick side out for Braverman and Tardio. Well, there's in the middle of that. Braverman reset a ball. One, zero, one. Stayed back. Lang took it out of the air. It was really low. I'd like to see him bounce that and attack. Point. You think Barr and Lang are playing a little too passive here to start game two? No, yeah. it, was just, it was just on that one right there for me is that Lang had two, Braverman zero, staying one. back. He took it out of the air and brought her up. So, Chad, you Second said third. yes to passive. Why to, did you say yes? Well, I, as as far as, as the tempo is going right mm -hmm. now, they're not taking any any risks. But I 100% agree with Don with, you know, yes, we can take a ball out of the air, but if we can't Point. attack it or if that ball's sitting up high enough, we're better off letting it bounce, letting it come up. Then we can then we can be a little bit more aggressive. Three zero two. But, you know, right now, Braverman and Tadio are, are controlling the tempo. They're playing to, to their strength. They're Side playing out. to their pace. Zero, three, one. Just oh, outside the, the line. Braverman asking to confirm. Referee says he saw it out. So they're going to challenge, gonna challenge. And, challenge. That's, and that's what we talked about. So referee, referee said it was out, out said that he saw it was out. The out call puts us But at we're still going to challenge one, it. Three, one. We'll now proceed with video review.
Yeah, and again, why not, right? You have three, use them. If you think it's close enough, if you're doubting the call, use it. Look at it right here. Ball looks just long. angle i mean potentially looks out right there but we do have that down the line view that's the one right there and it, even though it's Just early now. on in this in this second game it feels like a critical juncture because points have been really hard to come by for Barr and Lang. Yeah, again, perfect spot, perfect time. And again, this too plays into the, you know, Braverman likes to play those kind of games. And right now, if you think you got some confidence with a ball out, she thinks it's close. Even if she's like, I know it's out, let's take this. Let's make them think about it a little bit. It's a perfect call. It's a perfect spot for it. Well, let's look at it this way. You got five timeouts. You do. You get two and then the three challenges. Yeah. So, why not? So, Looks freeze like. it a little bit. If you get it wrong, no, nothing hurts. Right. You know, if this is your third challenge, you know, maybe you might consider it a, but, a little bit more, maybe. But if it's late in the game and it's your third challenge, oh, and you're yeah, like, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. No, no, no. Because what's the worst that happens? You get a, you get a technical warning. Yeah. Nothing happens with that. It's just a warning. All about situational no, you get, awareness. You get that warning after the third. After the third, right? So, so you got it. So one of the longer reviews we've actually had. Yeah, they're today. really, really taking a look at this one. So the call on the court was out. The referee agreed and said it was out, but Braverman and Sardio do challenge it. extended break on the court as we take a look at this ball along the baseline the first video challenge we had the call was overturned ever since the call has been confirmed correct here it comes after video review call stands lost video challenge you have two challenges left three video challenges left we'll resume so play the call one, three, does one. stand one three one time in. Braverman and Tardio one, three, one. lose a challenge Oh, good oh, speed up, good spot. She goes to the scorpion and then in the end just ends up throwing her paddle at it too. So good position, but a good spot. Like you said, Chad, it was low enough Two, where three, it's one. hard to scorpion that. Tardio, good angle on the put away. Well, going back, going back to that spot, you know, a lot of the times you're we want to we want to try and elevate that speed up, but that's opening up for two, the three, scorpion. Two. If you go from armpit to, to hip, it's really tough to hit that that scorpion coming across. Oh, Side out. Just coming up on that late and off the edge guard. Three, they two, do one. Get two back. Oh, oh Tardio point. comes across with the Ernie for the point. And it's not even a hard Ernie. Yeah. He just finesses it cross court nicely. Little Mr. Ernie right there. Finds the feet of Lang. Tough to do. It's the most casual Ernie I've ever seen. Barr tried to speed up a ball below the net. Yeah, she's anticipating a high ball back from Tardio, but he resets it nicely and gets Five, back two, in. 5-2-1. Two, one. Second uh, Braver serve. Coming across the court, off the net court, was behind her second serve. Yeah, it's a case of, of just rushing Five, two, up two. to that kitchen line, running all the way through it. It's hard enough to adjust when that ball comes off the net court, let alone still be moving. And another, another spot again, just in between the hip and the armpit on that 
left side. And Braverman told Lang, nice spot. As he and Barr earn the Two side out, one. trailing by three down a game. Oh, how Second about third. the hands, but Lang sends it long. I mean, those are two balls that typically are going to be winners, but Gabe Tardio is so quick, but so two short. Five, two. Side out. Driving bar deep in the court, side out. Couldn't get off of the defensive position. Or Barr and Five, two, one. Lang. Point. Yeah, good ball movement there from Braverman. Caught it close down the line. Almost pushed it out a little wide. Extends the lead to 6-2. Six, 6-2-1. Two. Six, two, Point. Winner back through the middle. Well, and this is the issue right now is when Gabe Tardio gets loose, he starts Seven, to get two, tricky. One. And if he keeps all these loose and tricky shots in, it's trouble. Second serve. Lang pulling it wide. Yeah, good spot right there from Lang. As Tardier's coming up the tee in the middle, two. he goes outside foot. Point. Good reach in and good spot there from Braverman. You got Barr a couple of times in the body. In game one, this time, Barr hesitated a little bit, was late catching up to that middle ball. 8-2-2. Bra Braverman and Tardio inching closer to taking the bronze medal. Tardio backhand flick, another point. But another good combo there from Braverman and then Tardio with the finish. It's a seven-point advantage for Braverman and Tardio. Timeout receivers, 9-2-2, two, two, one minute. As Barr and Lang take a timeout. Yeah, again, on cruise control right now, our Braverman and Tardio playing loose, playing clean. They're not missing much right now, and it's really hard for Lang and Barr to find a hole to create something because it's just all covered from Braverman and Tardio. We talked at the beginning of the match about if you wanted to be the team that was coming in off of a uh, loss or, or the one that sat. But mentally, how difficult is it for Susanna Barr and Eric Lang to turn around after dropping that semifinal match and have to get up again for a bronze medal match immediately? Well, you know, it, it, it can go both ways. You know, in, on one seconds. hand, it's kind of like, yes, we just lost. But now Receivers, one time out we, we have our opportunity out for, you know, redemption so quickly we haven't sat we haven't dwelled on it we haven't thought about the things that we did wrong too much we're just going to go out and make a few adjustments time on the in. other hand you haven't had time Nine to two think two. about what adjustments we need to make uh whereas if you've sat you you can kind of re-strategize and, and come in with that different plan Side out. Oh. Braverman can't get there in time. But right there, it's Braverman with a 9-2 lead going. Watch this. I'm going to try and pull the trigger on Lang and see if he makes a mistake. He almost does on the first one, Two, but nine, he converts one. on the second. second Defensive third. position for Barr and Lang all the way back at the baseline. This is about where they made that run against JW Two, nine, and Georgia two. in the semifinal. That being Lang and Barr. Yeah, oh, right went for the big forehand and missed it. Lang started to go for a little bit more at, at, around that point and, and got a little bit risky, a little one. bit trickier. That one he tries to do a lot with. So overhits it, pushes it wide. Second serve. 
Nine two two. Cardio into the net. Two nine two. Nice. Big put away from Tardio, and it is match point. Yeah, tough spot right there. Bar trying to go up and over Tardio, but Tardio reading it so well. 10 2 2. Side out. Tardio rushed it just a bit. It's wide as Bar and Lang still alive here Two, in the bronze ten, medal match. Second, Lang tried the backhand speed up, catches the tape instead. 2-10-2. Two, two. <laughs> nice little backhand roll there from Eric Lang. You hate saying you got to score in bunches, but it's exactly what Barr and Lang need to do here. 3 10 two. Just sliding a little too far on that one. Protecting too much of the line. Oh. I'm, I'm, Point. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why Tadio didn't step over and take that one. Braverman and Tardio leaving the door Four, open, ten, however, slightly for Barr and Lang. Forehand oh, yeah. winner through the middle. Three straight points. Almost got to put these two down, and then they wake up a little bit at being Lang and Barr. Five, ten, two. Lang down in that semifinal. They made it all the way to 10 9 before falling to the Johnsons. Point. Tardio comes up short. And all of a sudden, it's a four point deficit. And again, you got plenty of timeouts. 6 10 2. These are good teams. Last thing I want is a team to get some momentum on me. They are on second server. Oh, Side just out. flicks it long and it brings it. up match point number two. Yeah, it came out flat. He didn't roll that one, didn't have that Time wrist out, action like he normally one has. Let me take another timeout. Bar and Lang going to talk it over, trying to stave off. Match point from Braverman and Tardio to try and make another run. What's the conversation when you are taking a timeout in a situation like this where it's one point and you have to stay in it? I, I mean, honestly, at this point right here, it's it's more of the mental freeze than it is coming out and, and talking about strategy. But you know, you don't want to miss the return. You don't want to you don't want to play tight. You have to come out and it's like you know what? Let's make our shots. Let, let's go out and. and and we'll execute and we get this back and, and then we have seconds. the momentum that's still running. One time but if you're, one you're, time you're coming into this one, you're like, oh my gosh, I really need to win this point right here. You're going to play tight. You're, you're going to miss that ball into the net more, more often than not. Lang puts serve. it past Braverman. Hanging on here. Match point number Ten, three. Six, two. Just bounces Ooh. wide off of the net cord. You could almost see Yikes. Lang and Barr's eyes from here going, please go out. <laughs> it's time to blow one. that ball. Because neither one of them were getting it. Second serve. Barr just a little too soft on the touch. Yeah, some slight hesitation there. Six ten two. As far as when to take that ball out of the air. Point Better time. spot from Barr in the middle. She doesn't go full out. She goes down at the Seven, left ten, foot two. of Braverman there and gets the pop up. 
Oh. Big oh. forehand oh. from Lang. It's back within two. Oh. Where, where were we, Dorian? 10-2? 10-2. 8-10-2. To run a six straight points. Oh, he set it up. And that's a situation that you finish and the paddle's down. 10, 8, 1. Now as you go to bring it back up, the elbow and the shoulder come up and you get this wave motion. Tardio got big at the kitchen line. A fifth attempt at match point coming. Wow. 10-8-2. Even Barr was laughing on it. Oh, oh, finally, oh, Tardio able to get Braverman it past Lang as Braverman and Tardio outlast Susanna Barr and Eric Lang to capture the bronze medal. They take it in straight games, 11-6, 11-8. Wow, what a finish there. Nice run at the end again from Barr and Lang, but just can't come out on top again. Put themselves behind the eight ball early and had to dig out of that hole. But congratulations, Braverman and Tardio are your bronze medalists. Braverman and Tardio capturing the bronze medal to cap what has been a phenomenal a fantastic, use whatever superlative you want for this day, full of pickleball. It's been full of surprises and great play as 